So today, we're going to look around Christchurch. Sam says she could live here, so um, let's find out why. So I've managed to park down a side road here in Christchurch. This is free parking, which I like. So the van's down that way. I'm just walking up here, past this pub, and we'll go into the centre of town. So here's the high street, and we'll have a wander down here in a minute. See what it's like. Quite a lot of charity shops here, but that'll keep Sam happy. Empty shops, unfortunately. It's a shame. You get that everywhere, I suppose. I like this. I'll find out what this is when I go across the road. It looks nice in the centre of town. It's a shame that banks are disappearing. These amazing buildings. Yeah, it's just such a shame. That's uh, sort of the nicest looking building on the high street. And it's up for sale. It's sat there empty. So this is just a um, market place. This building just denotes where the market is. Amongst the things, it was um, only built in the 70s. It's made to look a bit older. And then obviously it's uh, a little shopping precinct here as well. You can see this little street here. You can see this sign. It says Ducking Stool. So we've got to have a look and see what that's all about. So I'm not sure where this ducking stool is. <clears throat> I'm guessing it's um, you know, one of those things where you know, they think someone's a witch and they sit them in the chair and waterboard them. Obviously, they don't do that nowadays. A big church here. Christian Centre. So no sign so far of this ducking stall. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be going down this road here. Well, these look nice. Nice houses down here. And here it says Ducking Stool Lane. So I'm hoping we can't be too far away. And there's a pub here from the looks of things. It's called the Ducking Stool. And what's this in front of us? That's it. Well, here you go. With the seat on the end. So it says here, the earliest documented evidence for a ducking stall in Christchurch is in the borough records dating from the mid-14th century in May 1350. So oh, wow, so it says here, the ducking stall was almost exclus exclusively reserved for scolds women found guilty of verbal abuse, brawling, or other antisocial behaviour. The culprit was raised and lowered into the stream as often as the sentence directed. It was a means of public ridicule and humiliation. Other local punishments involved whipping through the market, exposure in the stocks, pillory, and whirligig, a type of spinning cage. Ah, contrary to popular belief, it is unlikely that ducking stools were ever used in Britain for identifying witches. The last recorded use of a ducking stool in England was 1809. So there you go, there is the ducking stool. I do like the look of that pub. It's nice cottages here, all painted. And down here, down this little alley. It's a nice little old back street. Yeah, this is nice. I like Christchurch. Sam's happy. She's uh, still wandering around the um, charity shops. I thought I'd grab a bit of history. There's a big church and an old castle over here that I'll have a look at in a minute as well.
Yeah, these are old. Look at this place. That looks very old. Medieval old. And look at this pub in here. That looks very nice. We'll have a wander down there towards that church in a minute. Nice little shops here and what looks like a bar or a cafe or something. So, I'll take a walk up here. See what this uh, church is like. I'm guessing that's why they call this place Christ Church. So this is big. I mean, this is the size of, you know, a cathedral almost. So now we're down by the uh, sort of harbour here, which is sort of behind the church. That's very nice. There's a park here, grandstand, place to get food. This is a nice little walk along here. Yeah, so I'm liking um, Christchurch. I'm mean, not liking the weather because it started off hot and sunny and now it's grey. But uh, yeah, it's not bad here. So that's an old mill, again from medieval times mentioned in the Doomsday book, it said. And like that, they turned it into a bench, a table. And then we've got this little walk here, through a park, and the river's running beside us. give you an idea of exactly where we are in Christchurch. Just up there is the church. Right, and then through here, hopefully, some ruins of, I think, a castle. We'll go and have a look and find out. This has been the legwork out for us.
great tower. Large Norman castle. And if ever you wanted to make thick walls, well, the size of these, the thickness. Like this, that's the old building I saw earlier that's been turned into a bar. What do you think? So there's the King's Arms Hotel. Just up there, that Norman Tower that we were just in. Over the back there is the church. And then we got this old building here. So I shall find out what it is in a minute. Right, so that's where we've come from, and it's just the way in. These windows. Fish in the water, is there? So we're now just the other side of the uh, park we just walked through. Size of that swan. So much nicer when the sun comes out. Right, we've come to Priory Key. And there's the church. So one minute, the sun's out. Then it's in. Then it's out and it's hot. Then it's in and it's cold. And really, we're about ready for summer now. 